Hey guys, this is Baby Power, and I'm coming to you with another one of my amazing multi box gold guides showing you how easy it is to make lots of gold with less effort and without a group. Keep watching to see how it's done. All right, guys, so for my first 10 hour series farm, uh, we are back out here in Hellfire Peninsula, right here at the throne of Kill Jade and doing the primal fire farm again. Um, as you see, you know, same positions, got my you know uh potatoes set up in, in these areas I'll, I'll you know fly around show you real quick i'm not gonna fully go over you know the route and stuff you take you can uh look up at the top of the screen now and go check out my actual uh first primal fire farm uh video uh, i know the quality might not be the best on there but it, it shows you the route that you take and there's a little clip and everything uh but yeah if you have a second and you you need to know the route and everything you need to do just go ahead and uh go check that one out um but our first potato we have is right over here where diamond is uh right here kind of beside where you have your main which you have your main up in this little main area right here uh right where lord uh Kazik, or doom lord Kazik spawns uh which also when you're out here you know you can possibly get a chance and kill him uh which actually right before i started making the video he spawned i killed him i was actually only able to get loot from him with three of my tunes but hey it's it's you know it's something extra um but anyway going back to the potatoes uh first one's right here uh right beside where you are where this pillar thing is right in front of that and then you have one down here in this corner where i have star and you see that have the potato there and then we have one over here on the other side of where you have your main uh right here where the square marker is uh kind of right where this little pillar type ziggurat thing has kind of sunken in and then you have another one over here where i have triangle uh right in between in the middle of this little ziggurat type thing or whatever it is uh where this green stuff uh smoke's coming up uh, and yeah that's you know you sit there and you put your potatoes in those spots you uh go around where moon is with your main and just kill the mobs uh you can either choose to just go after the fire elemental guys and get the primal fire i, I choose to actually kill both uh the demon guys and the fire guys so i can you know increase you know the amount of loot i get uh but you can just do the fire elemental guys they'll they'll respawn if you just do those uh, it's up to you uh so for the macros that i use for this farm it's these two it's uh slash target inc slash cast moon fire slash use mode of fire which uh like i said if you check out my primal video farm I go over that you know you need to use moonfire because of these guys down here the fell blood initiates because if you kill these uh fire elemental guys down there near them and you use sunfire uh it will splash over and hit them and then you'll have aggro from them and you can't kill them uh so with that being said you know you get to your loot phase you're ready to fly around and collect your loot it's going to cause a problem because you won't be able to go into flight form and you'll have to get away from from them far enough so you can you know go into flight form uh anyway then our next macro is this one slash target wra slash cast moonfire and then slash use modifier for both so that way you're making the primals as you're doing your killing phase uh it just makes it faster for you when you go to put them up on the auction house if you're selling them as primal fire and not trying to just sell the modes of fire uh which is what i suggest because you know uh it's just a lot less auctions to post and you know they sell for more uh, or you can sell both it's up to you uh but anyway yeah that's that's all it is as far as this goes uh i'll go ahead and give you a little aerial view here so you can kind of see you know you're right here in the middle uh doom lord kazik you know he spawns right there you've got diamond right there you've got star over there you've got square over there and there's triangle over there all right guys so we are actually here in stormwind this time uh to go over the loop because I created a brand new bank tune or bank alt for just these 10 hour videos that I'll be doing, which I do plan on going over previous farms I've already covered uh, and going over a 10 hour session with those and showing you the loot from those 10 hour sessions. So uh, with this one, we first did the primal fire. So let's go ahead and take a look at how many primal fire we got. We got 1,148 primal fires uh, for a 10 hour session which each stack of these is going for 60k on my realm pretty much and 103k region that's pretty awesome uh let's go ahead and look at the transmog we got we got 
the Ashenville Longbow, 37k on my realm, 33k region. The Blood Scale Lakes, which I love getting these because they got a nice look to them. They have a high sell rate at 0 0.04, and they, they're going for 10k on my realm, 12k region. It's not bad. Uh, we got the Dream Seeker Dandelion. It's an offhand, 17 k on my realm, 26k region. Uh, Bone Chewer Spike Gloves, 13k my realm, 7k region. Uh, the Giant's Leg Bone. 26k my realm 10k region uh we got the caraborian battle axe 13k my realm 15k region uh citadel uh crossbow 11k my realm 15k region and the telari longbow 21k my realm 19k region uh then we got this right here the lead slug shotgun 290k my realm 146k region now that might be fake value as you see it only has a 0 0.01 sell rate and it has a region sell average of 1300 gold but hey while it's up there i might try to see if i can get it sniped you know take the value down or sell it try to sell it for like 200k then 150k and just see if i can, I can unload it pretty fast as you see it doesn't really look like much uh we got these epics here off of doom lord kazik uh now these shoulders are only going for 1800 gold on my realm have an 8k region uh value but i have actually sold a decent amount of these and they look pretty good so uh i wanted to go ahead and show them in the video as well then we got this ring here the ring of flowing light 7k my realm 13k region this is the item you want from doom lord though the exodor life staff 40k my realm 64k region and a 0 0.03 sell rate uh now just to kind of give you an idea of you know how these items have dropped in value since they changed the spawn time which by the way the spawn time uh has is about one to three hours uh and i actually killed him three times during my 10 hour session uh so it used to be though these i would actually sell these staffs for over 100k a piece and unload them pretty fast um just to kind of give you an idea now they're going for 40k on my realm uh, we got the hope ender 49k my realm 30k region 0 0.04 sell rate pretty nice we also got now the rest of these items are not off doom lord Castle, just the epics uh which you get two each time you kill them now uh we got the blade of misfortune it's a blue and it's going on my realm for about 9k 22k region 0 0.02 sell rate it's got a pretty nice look to it uh then these other ones are you know pretty much under 10k so i didn't really want to really go over them uh i didn't think it was really worth it uh then we got these plans here the heroic potion recipe is going on my realm for 28k 10k region uh dirge it's a dagger plan it's going on my realm for 5k 48k region then these other really low ones the enchant here for major resilience and then uh delicate and turnium ring for jewel crafting nothing really special about them but Let's go ahead and use our macro and see what the total value is. We got 1,114,360 uh, gold in our bags right now. Now, also keep in mind, I didn't keep the stuff I would normally keep during my one hour sessions. Uh, I only highlight, you know, high value items and, you know, the primal fire materials. Uh, but if you are interested in the other stuff I did get, I did keep it in the guild bank so you can see it. Uh, we got all these lockboxes. The Eternium are on this side. There's 22 of them. And we got 13 Thorium lockboxes. Uh, we also got all this Netherweave cloth. As, uh, let's see, 100 and, or uh, 5,205 pieces of Netherweave cloth. We got all these pieces of transmog that I will still try to sell, but they have, you know, uh, under their values under 5k, um, but decent sell rates on some of it. And then we got all these as well in this tab. Uh, so as you see, I mean, I did get a lot of stuff, but I just wanted to kind of showcase these items that I have in the bag now. So that's what we went over because I feel like these items will sell a lot faster than some of those or if they sell their value is not going to really add up to much. 
All right, guys, well, I hope you liked the video on the 10 hour farm for Primal Fire. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up down below. Hit the subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss another one of these amazing gold guides I have coming out soon. Also, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about me doing these 10 hour farms uh, with my previous videos. And if there's a you know previous video you'd like for me to cover in a 10 hour session, leave that down there and I'll see about making that one next. Uh, also, you know, if there's a farm you'd like for me to try out and see if I can multi-box it and post a video, go and leave that down there. I'll check it out, see if it works. If it works, I'll post a video. Uh, and if there's anything you didn't like about the video, you can leave that down there as well. Uh, but other than that, guys, this is Baby Powder. Peace, I'm out!